Thank you for tuning in to another one of my videos. If you follow me on Instagram, or if you're seeing this on Instagram, you probably already follow me. But if you don't follow me, then you probably missed my recent Zara haul. I did a try on haul where I just opened the box, tried on all the pieces. I did not style them at all. I was just trying on the pieces together. And so this video is all about how I would style the pieces that I kept. I mix them with some other pieces from my closet, so it's not all Zara pieces. It's just showing how to style the pieces that I kept. Those of you who follow me should know what I'm talking about. If you don't follow me, I will leave my Instagram handle right here somewhere. And I hope you follow me because I will be doing more of these. If you're someone who loves clothing hauls like me, then I think you'll enjoy it because I'm definitely going to start doing a lot more. So first up from the haul, we have this shirt. So I'm going to get out of this chair and get to styling. Oh, I have a couple of disclaimers. So you'll probably see some bruises on my legs. I had a nasty fall on those stairs. I'm healing. Don't mind them. I didn't want to put makeup on my legs because I didn't want to get the clothes dirty. And I'm just being real. Second thing, if the lighting changes, I work a full-time job and I have to do this closer to the end of the day. And so I'm sorry if the lighting changes, the sun ended up going away and I had to work with what I had. Okay, that's all, enjoy. So the first piece I've styled from this haul is this dramatic sleeved blouse. It zips in the back and it's actually cute when it's not tucked in either, but I decided to tuck it in. I'm a huge fan of the sleeves. I have been a fan of the dramatic balloon type sleeves for a while now, um, especially during like fall when you wear long sleeves. However, I thought I would pair it with some shorts for now since it is still warm outside. So I think this would be a cute work look. My work isn't too dressed up, but I could definitely wear something like this, which is why I paired it with shorts because it is very hot outside. And to complete this look, I added these lace up Zara heels. If you follow me on Instagram, you see that I've already been wearing these. And these weren't a part of this Zara order. I ordered them at the beginning of summer, but haven't been able to wear them too much. They did wear them on my birthday, and I think they complete this outfit perfectly. The next piece are these really long shorts. Thought I would stay in the short theme um, since it's summer, like I said. Uh, thought we'd style the shorts first. These are major shorts, and what I mean by that is these are a lot longer than I expected them to be. Um, I am definitely gonna take them to get hemmed. I knew they were gonna be longer, but I didn't know they were gonna be this long. I like them, I love the fit, I love the color, but the length is a little too long for me. I am 5'5", five five, so I don't know if like this is how they're supposed to look, or maybe they're made for someone a little taller, but it just is like a little too lengthy for me. But I do love this look. I paired it with the denim jacket, also a part of this haul. This is an oversized denim jacket. I have already been wearing this, so this is a for sure keep. And I know it's all, it's already a staple piece in my wardrobe and I know it's gonna continue to do so, or be so, whatever. You know what I mean. I love it, I love the fit. It's like almost like a bat wing. I hate that saying as a stylist when everyone would ask for a dolman shirt. Ugh, I never wanted to give them dolman shirts because everyone wanted dolman shirts because they think it like hides the flab, which okay it does. All that to say, I hate that saying because of my styling experience. But this does have that style, but what I like about this jacket is it like makes it look baggier. So see how it shows back here? I just feel like it's a vibe, you know? You'll see it in a lot more videos. You've already seen it in one. If you watched my last one that I uploaded, it literally goes with everything. I will have it linked below. I hope it is still there. It's already an oversized style, but I think I ordered this. Yeah, this is a medium. So if you want it to be a little smaller, a small is perfect and it'll still give you that oversized look. I just knew I wanted it extra oversized. I completed this look with these strappy black heels. Let me give you a closer look. So fancy, I know, but I don't have anyone here to help me film. So you get what you get. Love this look so much. This is definitely something that I would wear not to work because, you know, it's a little too revealing for work right here, but I would definitely wear this to dinner or lunch with a friend or with Drew or just out on the weekend, pretty much whenever I'm not at work. 
Okay, this is my last, I think, shorts look. The shorts, again, are not from Zara. These are just like the denim ones I had on, but the black version. So these are Levi's. Got them from Free People, I think, yes. But this is about Zara, so that's where this shirt comes in. And I am obsessed with this shirt. This is a cropped, pretty heavy duty, button up collared shirt that I love so much. I honestly had a hard time styling this because there's so many different ways that I can style it. And that's why I love it so much and why I'm so excited about it. Uh, for this one, again, I just paired it with some shorts because it's hot. And I recently got these Air Jordans. So thought I'd try them out with this look and I actually really like it. This is perfect for the weekend, perfect for a lot of different things. I think this is just such like a fun, cool, casual look that I'm super excited to start wearing. My favorite thing about this shirt is you can dress it up or dress it down. Um, at first I paired it with like jeans and heels and I love that look, but I wanted to try a different vibe, which is why I went with this and I like this too. But you can also wear it with like, even to work, if you wore high-waisted trousers and heels, such a cute option. It's seriously another staple piece that I think you'll love as well. Next up, we have this skirt with these pockets. It has like that utilitarian type of vibe, which I really love. It's I love that because it easily, I feel like that style easily translates into fall. So super excited about that. And the stretch on this skirt is insane. The structure it gives makes it look like it's tight. It's not tight at all which is why I was so sold on this skirt once I tried it on. Again, with something like this, you can style it so many different ways. For the video, I wanted to keep it a little more casual, so I paired it with the oversized tee, which I styled in my last video with my husband. If you haven't watched it, I will link it below. This is a $10 tee from Amazon. So, if you want more info on this t-shirt, go watch that video. But for this video, I paired it with this Zara skirt and again, kept on my Nikes. And I really like this look. It's definitely different. I don't usually dress like this. I never wear skirts, but I feel like this style of a skirt really fits me and I can wear it a lot of different places. Something like this is perfect for those of you who are still in school, which no, does that mean I'm dressing like a teenager? Listen, it's versatile. It can go with lots of different people. Church work if you work in a casual enough environment, which I totally can. I will for sure be wearing this to work, probably this weekend. Okay, so moving on to this buttery yellow shirt dress that I absolutely love. I've actually already worn this once. I knew right when I saw it in the box that I wanted it. So I didn't even like try it on and think about it. I pulled the tag off right away and wore it out and I really like it. There is one thing that bothers me though. It's like how wide it makes me look from the side. I didn't think about that when I was trying it on. I just, you know, the excitement got to me. But now that I know how it fits me, I think I might try it. There is like elastic back here or whatever you call this, but I'm gonna see if there's a way I can tighten it a little more just to make it look a little more flattering from the side and probably from the back as well. But this is such a comfortable, cute summer shirt dress. When I ordered it, I actually thought it was gonna be like an oversized t-shirt, which is, or like button up shirt, which is what it is, but it definitely is meant to be more of a dress than a shirt. I haven't paired it with jeans yet to see how that looks. Maybe it's something I'll try, but for now I'm good wearing it as a dress. I am pairing it with my platform Doc Martens. And I feel like this look is so cute. It's so 90s, very on trend for right now, and it's so lightweight and just easy. As the weather starts to cool down, I'll probably add a denim jacket, the one I had on earlier, or even like a cute leather jacket would be cute, or like a leather blazer, like an oversized leather blazer would be really cute with this look as well. So we'll see what else I come up with, but I really love this, and I can't tell if you can see, what, I can't tell like what you're seeing lighting wise, but this is pretty see-through. So you do have to wear probably like some kind of shorts or just make sure everything you're wearing underneath is nude. Unless you wanna, you do you, but I'll probably wear nude pieces. However, right now I have on, don't worry, a bathing suit because this also pairs as the perfect bathing suit cover up. Like how cute is that? I still have a couple more lake trips planned, 
So when I saw this layered over this while I was changing, I was like, oh my gosh, it's perfect. So it can definitely be used as a cover up as well. While I have this on, I want to show you how else you could wear this bathing suit. We're getting our money's worth out of these pieces, that's for sure. One sec. Okay, so this is the same bathing suit, and it can totally be worn as a bodysuit as well. Like, I wouldn't have thought about that at first, but I also ordered these purple, really comfortable pants. They're like elastic at the top, also from Zara. And when I saw this bathing suit, I was like, wait, that is like the same color as the pants. Let me try it on together. It totally makes such a cute monochromatic look. So yes, I love this. Even if you don't want to wear the bathing suit as a bathing suit, wear it as a bodysuit. So perfect for a girl's night out, whenever that can happen again, when you go to dinner or if you're going to like some kind of party. It's such a fun monochromatic look, perfect for spring and summer. I am pairing it with the misguided heels, which were a quarantine purchase and I've yet to be able to wear them sad. When I saw them, I knew I had to have them because I loved the braiding detail and just the color. Of course, if you can't tell, I'm loving this color. Um, but I'm glad I got them because they complete this outfit perfectly. Moving on to this ribbed crop top. It's actually button up and has these two little pockets. You've probably seen shirts like this on other websites or in other stores. This style is pretty popular right now and I really like it. This one in particular is really comfortable. I feel like anything that has that ribbed detailing to it tends to be super comfortable, unless it's really tight. This one is not. It looks like it's tight. Even on my arms, it probably looks a little tight, but it's not. Look at all the stretch it has, which I love. Um, I think this is in a medium and I feel very comfortable in it. I love the button details. I love that it's not just a crop top, but it has this like fun detailing with the little pockets. Today I'm pairing it with these boyish jeans. They have the, what is this called? I can't ever think of the name, but where the button is like over here and it's off. I really like that detailing to something that I would wear out on the weekend or just to run errands in. Um, I paired it with this flat mule, which are also from Zara. I got them a while ago, so I don't know if they're still available. They're just this tortoise print, like jelly material mule which i really love i paired it with this look because i feel like it helps like make this look not so trendy it kind of gives it a cool casual vibe other than just wearing it with a sneaker a sneaker will always give something a cool casual vibe but i feel like a fancy mule can do the same thing so i felt like it was a great shoe to complete this super cute super casual look okay and i saved one of the funnest outfits for last. I call this one of the funnest because this look is perfect for a night out. And I don't know about you, but I can really use one of those. This is a bodysuit and it has sparkling detailing. Like the threading is sparkled, which I love. When I first saw it, I actually, well, when I pulled it out of the box, I thought it was a bathing suit because I honestly think that this could be worn as a bathing suit as well. It's definitely not, like it has the button crotch. And usually bathing suits don't have that. But it's so cute, it's very comfortable, very stretchy, and has really skinny straps, which I love. I have it paired with these dad jeans from Topshop, which I got a few months ago um, when they were on sale at Nordstrom. I love these, and I'm pairing them with these silver misguided heels. You could even swap out the heels for a cool pair of sneakers, even the Air Jordans I was wearing. If you're gonna go to a baseball game, just add a baseball hat. That would be so cute. I really wish we had places to go because my mind is just racing with style ideas but for now I'll just wear it around the house with sweats yeah and then on the on half of it we'll have canned mushroom and then the other half just light sauce that is all I have for today thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it I personally love watching hauls so I hope you do too. I'm assuming if you're still here for this outro, you must enjoy them as well. I know I haven't done very many of these, but I definitely plan to do more. And I would love to know what other places, what other stores you'd like to see a haul from. If it's Princess Polly, ASOS, Nasty Gal, whatever it may be. Um, let me know in the comments down below because I'd love to do more. And I think all I've ever done on here is Zara. So we need to switch things up a little bit. I just love Zara. Hate to love it, but I do. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribing, please do so because like I said, I'm gonna start making more of these. 
So if you like them, go ahead and subscribe because I promise I will be better at posting more of these. Thanks again for watching and I will see you soon.